Hello everyone, in this video we will introduce the front panel drawing feature in Easy EDA. Here we showcase two common types of front panels, one made of acrylic material and the other made of PET. Designing labels, graphics or buttons on the front panel can help us better interact with the functions layout on the PCB. In Easy EDA, click File, New, Panel to create a new panel. The panel's working area is 393mm by 579mm, and we need to draw our panel within this area, which is indicated by a red border. Before drawing, let's briefly introduce the panel layers. Click Help Tutorials, then go to Panel Design, right side layer to view the definitions of each layer. The material border layer marks the area we just mentioned. The assist drawing layer is used for non-production hints like the text or graphics, similar to a document layer in PCB. The slot hole layer is used to define cutout in the panel. The ball outline layer is used to draw the outline drawing that needs to be cut. The bum layer used for PET panels, allows you to make raised button-like areas. The transparent opacity control layer lets you adjust the transparency of image or patterns. The print layer is for drawing the visible graphics on the panel. The glue cutout layer defines area where glue should not be applied. If this is not drawn, glue will be applied across the entire back of the panel. The lightning simulation layer is used for light simulation purpose. Within the material border layer, we can draw multiple panels. Let's switch to board outline layer and draw a rectangle. Then switch to the slot hole layer and draw another rectangle inside the first one. By clicking 3D, we can preview our design. We will see a panel with a rectangular cutout. Switching to the print layer, we can now place text or images. Click here to select a local image to add. Then switch to the opacity control layer and draw a rectangle on the top of the image. On the right panel, adjust the transparency value to control how opaque or transparent the image appears. One thing worth noting is that if you want to design the panel based on your PCB, you can go back to the PCB editor and select Export DXF choosing the layers you want to export. Then return to the panel editor and go to File, Import DXF to import the file allowing you to create a panel that aligns perfectly with your PCB layout. After completing your panel design, you can click Order, Order Panel to submit your panel for production on LCSC. It's important to know that panel manufacturing is based on a large 393mm by 579mm board, so you can place multiple small panels within the area to maximize material utilization. 
that's all for this video. See you next time.